In the previous tutorials, I created various exercises in Hot Potatoes. In some of them, I left them as individual files, in some I linked them to the other files. Linking the files together was an option under Configure Output buttons, where I could add the next exercise in the sequence. However, here we could only link the files that were in the same folder. The Mesher is the program that allows you to connect various Hot Potatoes exercises into one bundle. First, let's start the Mesher from the main menu. Once the file opens, I will save it as Practice Unit 1 in my Mesher folder. Now I will click the Add Files button to add files from my other Hot Potato folders. Now that I have my files in this window, I can use these buttons over here to change the order of the files. Now that I have all my files and in the right order, I'll set the configuration options for my practice unit. The configuration options in the Mesher are right here in the working window. I will leave all default settings and only add a name to my practice unit. Now let's click on the Build Unit button and see the result. The first page that opens is a list of contents in my practice unit. Once I click on the first link, I will see all my exercises linked together. Now you can see that neither my audio file in this exercise nor the picture in this exercise have been produced into this file. If you want to include more than just HTM files into your practice units, then you need to have an account with hotpotatoes.net. You will need to upload all external files directly to this website. You can create a free demo version or you can pay an annual fee to have your account on hotpotatoes.net. The paid account gives your students an opportunity to take quizzes and practice units on the same website and their progress will be recorded for you to take a look at. I do not have an account with Hot Potatoes, but I do have a learner management system supported by my university. It is called ICON, Iowa Courses Online. If your school, college, or university does not have a learner management system, you can always use the free Moodle.org to set up your course. All learner management systems are very similar to each other. In my case, I want my students to use the practice unit only for practice, not for grading. To do that, I simply put all the files into my icon site. First, I added my index.htm page because this is the page in my practice unit with the links to all the files. As you can see, I also added all the content files from my folders, including an audio file and the picture. Since my system allows that, I also click the option to have the content files hidden from the students. So when my students log into ICON, they will only see one link to practice unit 1. Once they click it, my whole practice unit opens.